I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today's program is a tribute to a prophet, T.B. Joshua, who is with the Lord now. We're remembering him on his birthday. And uh, millions and millions of people are missing him. And uh, I would like to take this opportunity to talk to you about the things that I admire about the prophet. He was a man of God who did not act in his own will. Be it prophesying, be it healing, he made sure he did it in accordance with the Holy Spirit. He did not do anything out of his own will. He also uh, speaks about the importance of maintaining God's anointing in our lives. We are used to receiving God's anointing. We go to a church or we go to uh, a meeting. We receive God's anointing and we leave that place and we become normal in some time. He tells us, in, in order to maintain God's anointing in our lives, we need to have a free spirit, a heart free of guilt, a heart free of hatred, bitterness, basically, we need to have a heart filled with love for people. His approach towards money as far as his ministry is concerned. He tells us that collecting offerings from people who are in need is not right. It is okay to receive money from people who give it with all their heart, but it is not okay to collect money from them who are in need. His idea of giving, he considers it as a sacrifice. I give someone who's in need, it has to be a sacrifice from my side. And the act that follows my giving is all that matters. The attitude after I give money to someone or the attitude that I have after I help someone who is in need matters because God rewards you seeing that and not the amount of money you give to someone who is in need. His attitude towards death. T.B. Joshua says to a Christian, death is not the end. It is only an end to his or her trouble and tribulation. Prophet T.B. Joshua has finished his race and he has amazed us all with the faith that he had for, for the living God. And he was keen in fulfilling God's plan for his life. To all the young ministers of God, it's important that we draw these valuable lessons from the prophet and try to apply all these in our lives. And it's important that we have that fire for Christ and the love of Christ above all. Thank you for watching me, my dear brothers and sisters. God bless you.